Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. NASA astronauts Terry Virts and Scott Kelly spent several hours this week safeguarding their atmosphere. The pair replaced components in one of the station's carbon dioxide removal assemblies, or CEDRAs for short. CEDRA is responsible for removing the CO2 exhaled by astronauts from the station atmosphere, keeping it safe for the crew to breathe. Important technologies like this are being proven on board the space station and will one day find their way into the spacecraft that carry humans to Mars. Ancient mariners used the moon and the stars to navigate Earth's oceans, and the spacecraft of the future are taking a page from their book to do the same. If a spacecraft loses communication with the ground or NASA's deep space network, its crew can use the moon and stars to find their way. Station astronauts photographed the moon's phases during one 29-day cycle that will be used to calibrate a navigational tool for use by NASA's next-generation vehicle, Orion. This week, David wants to know if there's time for relaxation on the space station and what astronauts can do. Well, there certainly is, and relaxing in space is a lot like relaxing at home, with a few minor differences. Crew members on the station usually get weekends off to relax and do any number of activities, whether it's playing some sports or music, or just staring out the window at the Earth below. They can also watch movies and TV, and thanks to the newly arrived projector setup, enjoy their favorite science fiction movies while living the real thing. Make sure to keep sending your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.